Hey, Welcome. everybody. <laughs> I'll bring to that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Welcome to You Gonna See That. This is where we sit back, drink a couple beers, watch some trailers, and figure out if we're gonna go see that. Today we've got Steve Broxterman. He's the guy behind the camera on a lot of our stuff. Hello. And we're talking about Man of Steel, the new yes. Superman film. Starring Henry, Henry K. Cavill? What, so, uh, Henry, Henry Cavill. Hank, if yeah. you will. He was actually the little kid in um, The Count of Monte Cristo. He was uh, Albert, the son. Oh. Rome! Yeah! You're the only one that remembers The Count of Monte Cristo. Great movie. If you're not sure what trailer we're talking about, it's going to be in the link below. Well, Maybe. this this Superman looks very much like a uh, I'm Superman and I'm the last of my race and I'm very alone. It talks like, a lot about how Superman is alone. I think it's an interesting story to go with the dark Superman story. I support it. If we're well, going to go with the, like what they did with Batman, that was awesome. We got to see that like real gritty. But it's Superman. Superman. I know, but he's still he's still in this a real person. That has real issues. Uh, you are an alien. Your entire race like is blown up, and you have to live with having these superhuman powers. I think that might have. But it's supposed to be like, ba -ba -ba, I'm Superman, you know. And people had a problem with the last one, where like, oh, he was spying on Lois Lane. It's like, well, you know what? Because he's a person, he has feelings. And now this one comes out, and now he's like, oh, but people don't like me. I'm an alien. Boo hoo. Screw you, you're Superman. Thing that you don't like this take on Superman. You prefer it to be like the trumpeting Superman of old. Yeah, but we've Kinda. seen the campy thing. They, they've I'm not talking about time. campy. That this is not. I'm not saying it should be campy. It's not '60s Batman. It should. But you know, I like. I want to see Superman stop a plane from falling on it. I, I really like the Brian Singer Superman. I don't care what you say. <laughs> So, what do you think? Do you think this is going to be better than Brian Singer's Superman? Kind I think so. I think I think with the, the I mean, just the director. I mean, yeah, yeah Zack Snyder is the director. Oh, director. Yeah, yeah. he's the, the guy Watchmen. Three hundred. Three hundred. Yeah. Watchmen. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, duh, it's going to be dark. A whole lot of heroic. Uh, and that's really what I'm dying for in a Superman. Sound really bad. I'm always into the Boy Scout, like Cyclops, like Captain America. You know, yeah. so these are my kinds of characters, and so when you start, I don't know, when you make him like all angsty, like he should be on the OC, it just kind of bugs me. Dude, See, you can fly. <laughs> I think you could probably put your emotional. It's like a celebrity with. I I have too much money. I am emotionally distraught. So they're they're still building it up. They're still giving us this little bit of like, here's what's to come. Here's what he, here are the emotional stuff because it's there's gonna be kick, there's gonna be mad kickassery in this movie. I got goosebumps. You know, I be think like, they're better. Well, I, I agree. There better be, like, kick, kick assery in a movie with Superman. But, I, you know, I just find it interesting with the, the powers that he has, the turmoil he manages to get himself into. Comic Easy. books are all about the, that whole inner turmoil. It's, I mean, yeah, if it weren't for good character stories, you right. know, Superman would have, you know, died out in the 30s. As far as him having superpowers, I think that's the, the most interesting part of the struggle with Superman. Like, everybody always talks about how, like, oh, Superman's boring, he's, he's overpowered, he can do anything he wants, he only has kryptonite to stop him. But with this, we get to see the internal struggle, we get to see this person who... Who's not a person. Who has to control his power. Who can't be... He is a person. He's still... A, <laughs> he's he's a Kryptonian, but he's yeah, still a okay, person. Okay. So here's this person who is, uh, you know, a superhero, and he has to he has to deal with that, and he's he's such a good person that I think that takes some struggle, and I want to see that. I want to see that non-boring. Oh, I can do any like I can do anything, but well, I'm that's, choosing. That's what I liked about the Brian Singer Superman. It was heartfelt. It had laughter. Like there was so many good laughing points in that. So it was like kind of lighthearted, but and fun, but at the same time, it got kind of deep with Superman, and and I thought Kevin Spacey as Lex Luthor was awesome. Like, I never was like, oh my god, they're in peril. Because I think that's the, the, the ultimate that, yeah, that thing is with, kinda... with, with Superman, it's indestructible. And that's what I liked about this trailer. I'm hoping that it's not a focus on, here's this indestructible person, mm -hmm. but here's this guy who's really struggling, and we're getting to see that, like, it's not just it's about... In, it's internal and not... Yeah, it's actually. internal. We get to see, we get to so follow Superman him. So Superman is probably going to commit suicide before he gets taken out by a kryptonite. What, is he going to shoot himself in the head? <laughs> oh, man! 
man. Actually, you know what? I, you know what I really dug about the trailer mm. is the shot where he turns around and he's on fire, but he doesn't care. Oh yeah, he's Superman. I thought that was great exactly. too. Exactly. I was yeah, like, that's a that's a very cool moment. He's on fire. Don't give a shit. Yeah. Or when he gets like <laughs> blown through the wall and into the safe, and <laughs> you're like, that's Superman. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I would think if I was friends with Superman, I would actually like take him out to the desert and see what he could withstand. Like Superman, we're gonna shoot this howitzer at you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> what we need like, to it do. It would be fun. Like you we would need just to get play together it with like, Richard Ryan, rated RR, and take Superman out to the desert. And have Richard Ryan just shoot everything he can at him, see what he can withstand. <laughs> Henry calls us. He's like, I'm in, I'm in. <laughs> That'd be awesome. There's no sequel. <laughs> <laughs> there, were, there were a couple of interesting things about this trailer. Um, one of which being, you know, going with a, a homely Lois Lane. Uh, that's an interesting well, that's choice. Terrible. That's terrible. Well, you know, I, I when I saw her, pretty. I was like, <laughs> that's April O'Neil. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Lois well, that, Lane is a brunette. I'll yeah, give you exactly. that. Amy Adams is a good looking woman, but like I saw her in this trailer and was like, oh. That wasn't Issa Fisher? Also, Kevin Costner, one of the worst uh, actors of our time, is That's in this movie. Um, he's kind of the Keanu Reeves for the previous generation. I don't, I don't think he's that terrible. You I don't like, think he's as bad as Keanu Reeves? Yeah, I think Kevin, Kevin, Cost- Cost- I think Kevin Costner is right. an all right actor. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what I picture in my head for Superman's father, or stepfather, or adopted. Father. He doesn't really fit. I think Christopher Walken would have been more of a hey. Movie. <laughs> walk. Walk. Uh, Russell Crowe is also hot. <laughs> <laughs> He's Jor El. Interesting. Russell Crowe is Jor El. I love it. I think it's great. I'm I'm down with Russell Crowe. It's been a long time since I've seen Russell Crowe around. This is a man who is not afraid to throw a punch, or a phone, or a phone. <laughs> Here's my little thing: the costume. Uh, the costumes are always something in these movies, and. Since Spider-Man, we've gotten this like little rubbery thing, textured costume going on. I just I want to know what that is. Is it rubber? Is it cloth? Is it just we want to give him texture? Oh. It does strike me as interesting that he was supposed to have built that out of his right. like blankets that I, he came to. I Earth think it in. looks great. I think it looks fantastic. But I just I, like. I almost think it's a little too textured. I think the cape looks phenomenal. It's like, kind of well, Martha it's kind of built like, it. Sorry, Martha. Martha yeah, so Martha. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think Superman's costume has kind of always been a weak costume. First, I mean, it's kind yeah. of like when your gram, grandma or grandpa gives you something for Christmas, and it's like ten years below your actual age group. You know, I think <laughs> that's what Martha was kind of going for there. And uh, so it's like, oh, thanks, Ma. Like, <laughs> um, but when you wear your underwear on the outside of your costume, it's kind of hard but to break away. But that's Superman. Right? You can't not do that. It's like, true. You underwear can't... on the outside is not just for homeless people. <laughs> <laughs> also, Superman. So we, Superman. We can't here. do with Superman what they did with X Men and just put him in black leather. Yeah, no, no, no. Superman has to have the the cape. He has to have the blue and red. I uh, agree, but I think it, but my that's Superman. New font with the Superman S. I thought was interesting too. I I thought that was cool. I I like the. I'm curious if that's going to come into play in the in the in the video. You can see like it's like mul- there's lines within the S. It's yeah. not a solid S. Because when you have a logo for eighty years. I'm, There's nothing like revisiting it. <laughs> I'm hoping. Uh-huh. I'm hoping that comes in in the movie. Like it's like something. Superman's within... like, I need to rebrand myself. <laughs> <laughs> re- <laughs> After I actually dropped that kid off that twelve-story building. That's right. I, I think. To... I think the public. I need my PR person to really kind of reinvent who I am. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's cool. I like it. <laughs> do you like the original logo or do you like this new comment branded? Below. Comment. Not here, but comment. Comment below. below. You can comment on that. It's fine. What up? So I think it's time for a vote. Let's Steve, you gonna uh, see that? It's gonna be a Blu-ray or DVD. <laughs> I, like, let's be honest. I'll watch it on the internet. <laughs> I'm gonna see it opening night in theaters. I'm gonna wait and see what everybody else says. <laughs> and then probably see it anyway. You're going to see that? Thumbs up, thumbs down in the theaters. There you have it. Subscribe to Mars Rising Films for more of this and other tomfoolery. This is Tom. That's foolery. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's that make you? Drunk. Jackass. <laughs> Drunk. <laughs> see you next week.